Welcome to Corona's Traveler India's Dine and Drink Festival. Well, my name is Saranj Goyla. I am a chef, of course. That's why I'm here. I'm right here in my kitchen studio, and we are going to have a lot of fun. See, travel is about eating, and eating is about joy, and we are here to spread some joy. My grandfather used to say, "A friend in need is a friend in need, but a friend you can, a friend who can feed is the friend you need." So well, Goyla is your friend today, and uh, there's a particular reason why I'm your friend today because we are going to take pantry essentials, things like dal, papad, makhana, and make them cool and gourmet. So you can take your desi ingredients, which will be very easily found in your kitchen, and make them cool. So that's how we do. So well, uh, today's first recipe is going to be the uber popular. I think it went viral. Is the papad pasta? However, I'm making it slightly more gourmet than the last time I made papad pasta at home. So here I have a very very old school papad. This is the garlic flavored papad that I got. Uh, we're going to start by very very quickly chopping it up. No, do not make a face. And if you are watching from Italy, my apologies. um so we are going to very very quickly just like this slice through it we have strips of papad you know uh, papad belly is <laughs> if you had to call it something else i would call it we have strips of papad belly here right here so uh, basically we cutting it this uh, cutting this into fat strips uh so what we can do is um when we put this in water it sort of gets cooked easily and fluffs up nicely so yeah so this is how you're going to slice through the papad so we have just like this lots of sliced papad which i have kept ready uh for this recipe so well our papad strips here are of course cut and sliced now what we have to do is soak them in hot water and then blanch them in cold water So I have piping hot water here, and I have ice cold water here. So what we are going to do is very very quickly put these papad belly strips into hot water. Let's start with few of them. Gently soak them in this hot water. We will remove them. After they have soaked for not more than sixty seconds, if you over soak this, it's going to become a, a papad kitchen. So that's it. So now let's get to our next step for this recipe. I have a beautiful portobello mushroom. How good this looks, right? What we're going to do is just slice this off into. big chunks nice similarly what i have done is i have kept some garlic and some cherry tomatoes prepped and ready for the session beautiful good looking cherry tomatoes cute like me and uh, some minced garlic all good things in at least start with some olive oil Two tablespoons of olive oil. I know a lot of people don't believe this when I make this recipe, but it is so oh, so beautiful. Well, our oil is piping hot. Now, very very quickly, we are going to add some minced garlic to this. After we add our minced garlic. we're going to add our mushroom beautiful and good old cherry tomato but for that we will first make sure the garlic catches on to some color now it's time for the cherry tomatoes to go and garlic is golden with this we are going to add some chili flakes You know when they make a nice aloo olive, lots of chili flakes go in. Ah, now it's time for our hero of the evening, papad. 
to go in. So we are going to remove our papad tele made from papad. Just like that and plonk it here. Look at that. Lots of strips of papad. Now all we have to do is give it a nice stir. Handle the papad gently. You do not want to toss it a lot, scramble it up. Just like you do with pasta, you follow the same here. Now that is almost ready guys. Time for some seasoning. We've added none, so we'll add this generously, but papar is fairly salty, so be careful. Some pepper. Not too much, we have lots of it actually in there, so it's become too spicy. I'm going to add a touch of parsley on the top. And good old parmesan. Some now and some for later. Oh man, that looks fantastic. It's time now for us to remove our papartele. Oh man, it's got great color. It's turned golden from the bottom. That is looking fantastic. If you like wine, you can deglaze this pan with some white wine as well. And you would be looking at some happy guests at home. And that's it. Our papad pasta is absolutely ready. Well, that was the first pantry essential that we made something cool out of. Well, our next recipe is extremely desi, but if presented in a new format, it becomes gourmet. Well, this is the old school basin, as my dadi ma would call it, presented and chipped up slightly differently. And it's called liquid laddu. Yes, we are going to have laddu in a cup. We are going to break all these uh, laddu shapes into a liquid and fill this beautiful mug with liquid laddu. Let's do this guys. We are going to first switch the stove on and add two big spoons of ghee. We are going to keep this at medium flame in which we are going to add basin which has been sealed. Otherwise what happens is basin tends to form lumps and hence it's very very important to add basin that has been sealed. So if you are adding two big spoons of ghee, you are going to add four big spoons of basin. Hmm. So I think uh, sometimes to make things gourmet, branding is very important. How you present it, how do you, what's the story behind it? Uh, how do you sell it to your audience? All of that becomes really important. Perfect guys, it's been about five minutes. It's become nutty and brown as you can see. So guys, the basin is looking nutty and light brown. Is the time to add some water to this. Water will go in parts. What's going to happen is we're going to take a whisk and incorporate the water. If you do this all together, it's going to become like a little basin porridge. We do not want that. So I'm adding one fourth cup of water first and I will quickly whisk it in. And you'll see almost like a white sauce. How we make a white sauce, this is going to start to come together. Mm. See how thick it has become? Thick and currently it's lumpy. But if you keep stretching it, 
just like this make sure you're breaking the lumps you add more water to it another one fourth cup fantastic just like you make white sauce at home it's pretty much the same process even for basil make sure your flame is not too high i have kept this on low so the basil does not cook very very quickly it gets some breathing time now it's looking more creamy the lumps are getting removed see it started to become very very creamy now and this is the right stage to add our last part of water we will add the entire half cup and this should do the magic I hope you are enjoying our dine and drink festival. Conner's Traveler is always so much fun to chill with, cook with. Look at this, guys! Let's quickly pour this liquid ladu. we are going to add some pistachio to this one or two saffron strands and some silver work pellet silver pellet on the top to have the little laddu effect so guys This is it. Our liquid laddu is absolutely ready. Who thought laddu can also be liquidy? We used a pantry staple basin to make something for me at home. I hope you enjoyed today's masterclass. This is the Dine and Drink Festival by Conner's Traveler India. This is Chef Saranj Koila signing off. And yes, next time you walk into your pantry, make something cool.